Hope you are all very fine. Can you tell me today what are the most two important characteristics of the life or the living beings? What are the two most important characteristics of the life or living beings? Yes. Yes, one is the reproduction, ability to reproduce. Second one, yes, second one is the ability to give the response in response to the stimulus. That means living beings or the cells has got the capacity to be excited if any stimulus is given to them. And that property of the living beings or the cell is known as excitability. Now can you tell me why, why this excitability or how this excitability of the cell or cell membrane takes place? This excitability of the cell membrane or of the cell or the living beings are basically because of a very important property or characteristics of the cell membrane that is known as the membrane potential. That is known as the membrane potential. So today in this class I will try to discuss you what is membrane potential and how this membrane potential is created or originated. So first let us see what is what is membrane potential. So first let us see what is membrane potential. Membrane potential is basically is the electrical difference across the cell membrane. So suppose this is the cell membrane here it is the extracellular fluid outside of the membrane has got extracellular fluid and inside of the membrane has got intracellular fluid or this is in the inside of the cell membrane. So there is a, as I told, there is a difference of the electrical difference. That means, suppose there is a more positive charges, more positive charges in the outside in comparison to the less positive charges in the inside. So, in the outside, positive charges are more than the inside or vice versa. That means, less less positive charges less positive charges in the outside in respect to more positive charges more positive charges in the inside or it can be even the more negative charges in the outside in respect to inside or vice versa so in any way there is a electrical difference, difference of the electrical charges, difference of the electrical charges across the membrane and that is known as the membrane potential. So membrane potential is the, it is the electrical difference across the cell membrane, electrical difference across the cell membrane. Electrical difference across the cell membrane. Now, why there is an electrical difference across the cell membrane or how there is an electrical difference of the, across the cell membrane? This is because of the, this is because of the more positive ions for example in the outside in comparison to the less positive ions in the inside that means difference of the 
positive ions in respect to outside or across the membrane. It can be more positive ions in the outside in comparison to less positive ions in the inside or vice versa. Less positive ions in the outside in comp comparison to inside of the membrane. Insi inside of the membranes. So this difference of the electrical charges is basically because of the asymmetric or uneven distributions of the ions across the cell membrane. That means this is due to this electrical difference across the cell membrane is due to uneven uneven distribution of the ions uneven distribution of the ions now again here question comes why this uneven or how this uneven distribution of the ions across the cell membrane takes place how this uneven distribution here you can see more positive ions in the outside in respect to inside or less positive ions in the outside in respect to inside this how this unequal distribution of the ions takes place through the selectively permeable membrane through the permeable membrane through which any ions or most of the ions can pass through so how this unequal distribution takes place so this unequal distribution is due to this is due to one very important characteristics of the membrane that is known as donans effect donans effect which is otherwise known as the gibbs donan membrane equilibrium gibbs donan membrane equilibrium So these unequal distributions or asymmetric distributions of the ions across the cell membrane is due to the Donan's effect or gibbs donan membrane equilibrium. Now let us see what is gibbs donan membrane equilibrium. So let us assume first there are two compartments, two compartments are there which is separated by this is separated by a selectively permeable membrane. So this compartment is the A and another compartment is the B. Two compartment is separated by a selectively permeable membrane and both the co compartments has got the both the compartments has got the water inside it so both the compartments has got the water inside it now this in this compartment a suppose 10 molecules of sodium chloride salts are added so 10 molecules of sodium chloride salts are added in the compartment A and as you know that once the salts are dissolved in the water it will be in the ionized form it will be converted into the ionized form so here 10, 10 sodium ions will be formed sodium ions will be formed and 10 chloride ions will be formed so 10 sodium ions and 10 chloride ions will be there in the compartment A. Now these sodium ions and the chloride ions, these are the diffusible ions. These can easily diffuse 
from compartment A to compartment B through the selectively permeable membrane and this is due to the concentration gradient because of the more concentration of the sodium ion in the A or more concentration of the chloride ion in the A what will happen? Sodium ion will move from compartment A to compartment B and similarly chloride ions will move from compartment A to compartment B and this movement of the sodium ion from A to B and movement of chloride ion from A to B how long this will happen? till the concentration of the sodium ion in the A becomes same to the concentration of the sodium ion and the chloride ion in the B that means in both the compartments sodium concentration and chloride concentration will become equal till it becomes equal till it becomes equal what's happened till it becomes equal what's happened the movement of the sodium ion will go on till there is equal concentration of the sodium ion and the chloride ion so there will be the 5 sodium ion in the compartment A and 5 sodium ion in the compartment B 5 chloride ion in the compartment A and 5 chloride ion in the compartment B so this type of diffusion this type of equilibrium that is created established in two compartments separated by a membrane and this is this type of equilibrium is basically due to the due to the presence of diffusible ions which can diffuse from one compartment to the other compartment through the selectively permeable membrane so this is the case which takes place in presence of in presence of diffusible ions where no indiffusible ions are there or in absence of in absence of non diffusible ions non diffusible ions in any compartment so here no non diffusible ions or indiffusible ions are there in any of any compartment so this type of equilibrium will be maintained and that is that this type of movement of sodium ion and the chloride ion will take place till the concentration of the sodium ion and the chloride ion reaches at equilibrium with the compartment B. Now suppose now suppose there is another condition in which along with these two diffusible ions one non-diffusible ions are present so in, in presence of in presence of non diffusible ions what happens non diffusible ions what happens or what will take place so in this case what happens suppose again again this is a compartment A compartment A and compartment B separated by same semi permeable membrane so in this case now again 10 sodium chloride salts sodium chloride molecules are added and obviously as per these situations these sodium ions will be converted to the sodium chloride ion so here 10, 10 sodium ions will be there and 10 chloride ions will be there 10 sodium ions will be there in the compartment B compartment A and 10 chloride ions will be there in the compartment A so as these are diffusible they will automatically diffuse to the compartment B but interesting thing is that this will little bit different from that phenomena why? because there is a presence of one indiffusible ions for example x minus 
a non diffusible ions is present in the compartment a in addition to the diffusible ion sodium and nitrogen ions now what's happen here you see this is the positively charged particles this is the negatively charged particles so what will happen this and this cannot pass through x minus cannot pass through th from a to b they will be retained there and as they are retaining here this compartment a they will attract the positively charged particles they will attract sodium ions so do not all sodium ions not the equal amount of the sodium ions will go to compartment b so in this case five sodium ions are passed or diffused to so compartment b from a but here that will not take place because of the attractive forces in between the sodium ions and the negatively charged non diffusible x ions x minus ions so in this case what's happen here what's happen compartment a and compartment b so here there is a suppose because of the presence of x minus as they will attracts positive discharge sodium ions as these attract sodium ions what is it it will happen this sodium ion will not move from a to b and thereby there is for example eight sodium ions will be there in the compartment a and two sodium ions will be diffused to sodium to diffuse to compartment b because of the attractive forces between the x minus and the sodium plus so not this will not let all sodium ions equal amount of the sodium ions to diffuse to the compartment b and thereby more sodium will be retained in the compartment a than the compartment b on the other hand this is the negative charge this is also negative charge so there will be the repulsive force will act on in between these two anions and because of the repulsive force more chloride ion will be repelled will be diffused to from compartment a to compartment b as a result for example two chloride ions will be there in the compartment a and more eight chloride ion will be diffused from compartment a to b so here you see in between the a and b compartments in this case once the non diffusible ions are only present there is a equal sodium ions and the equal chloride ions in between a and b now what happen because of the presence of this non diffusible ions there is a unequal distributions of the sodium ion and the chloride ions takes place and this unequal distributions of the ions which are due to the presence of non diffusible ions in any of the compartment is known as donans effect so this phenomena is this phenomena is known as this phenomena is known as donans effect donans effect or or gives donan membrane equilibrium so this is known as gibbs donan membrane equilibrium this is the so because of the uneven distributions of the ions across the cell membrane is established because of the donan's effect or gibbs donan membrane equilibrium so this is all about the membrane potential which is established due to the donan's effect